Hello everybody, Nikki White here, and today I'm so excited to be doing this. We are unboxing a whole box. A full box from Motec Toys. So I've bought toys from Motec before. They have certain characters that I believe are unique to them. One of their characters that I love is called Betty. I've got a few of her toys, but they're kind of hard to find. So I was super excited when their stuff became available online. They have an official online store now, so you can buy directly from them. I'm gonna link it down below. They also have an Instagram and Facebook that I'm gonna put the links down below if you wanna follow them to see what they're up to. Look at how dreamy this color is. These colors, such my jam. Bunch of the different designs here. I believe that's all of them. And the box itself is like die cut, which is amazing. You know when you're in the store and it's like the box is all propped up and cute. I believe that's what this is gonna do. Maybe I can display it within the box. I'm not sure, I've never unboxed a full box. So super excited to get in here. And since I've never done a full box before, I don't know if there's like dirty doubles in here or if it's gonna be one of each toy. Something really cool that Motec does, I believe, is that these toys come with like their own little stand or like case. So that will be super interesting and make these so much easier to display. Let's get into this. So this box in particular is the Cinemaroll Decompression Club series. And I believe it's like decompression because he's chilling. Like he, he's just hanging out. He's decompressing. I love it. I'm like not even looking at the options so that I'm like a little more surprised when I open them up. Okay, I'm gonna open this the best I can without messing anything up because I do see the die lines, but I don't wanna pop anything in case it's not supposed to be popped. Okay, this, this is my dream. This is my dream come true, a full box. This packaging, on point. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pop the top to see if I can get it right. Wait, should I do it? I love a good die cut. As a designer, I know what this is all about. It's hard to do, so kudos. <gasps> I ripped it. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, oh my God, there's a die cutter on the whole thing. That's so cute. Okay, now the question is, which one do I wanna open first? I'm gonna do this one just because. So, this packaging is just as cute as the main packaging. I think these guys come with like their own little display case, which is amazing. And I don't think I've seen that in other blind boxes. So, Motac, if, if that's in here, well, that's gonna take it a cut above. Especially since I have like so many toys and not enough room to display things, this will actually make it. You know, it's like a two-in-one. It's got the display and the toy. Okay, such pretty packaging. I don't want to mess it up, but I'm gonna. So we've got it in a few parts here. So what? what's in this part? Oh my gosh, it's so little tiny. I didn't know he was gonna be so little. What's on his head? Are these balloons? Okay, let's let's open up the whole thing so we can see what's up. Oh my gosh, okay, perfect. It does come with a stand, which is amazing. Okay, good. It has instructions on how to put together the casing and then how to like stack them together, which I'm gonna need because I have eight of them. Okay. So this design looks like He's taking a bath. Oh, I think he's like taking a bath, and you know, like when you wear those like headbands to keep everything, like the water and stuff, off your face. I think that's what he's doing with his ears. That honestly is probably the best part about these that it has like a case and the stand everything included because for a bunch of my other toys it's like such a pain to find stands that they'll fit on or just like accommodating them so this is going to be awesome because we can just stack them modular style okay next box mm -hmm. <laughs> okay here we go 
Okay, here we go. I don't know if there's a hidden, oh, there is a hidden design for these, but I don't know if we'll be so lucky. And hopefully we don't get any dirty doubles. Okay, not a double, so that's amazing. And it looks like he's like a boxer with a strawberry hat. That's amazing. I go to a boxing gym, so I mean, that's why one way to decompress is punch stuff. So nice. Is that what he's doing? Is he a boxer with a strawberry hat or is he swimming? Oh, I think he's got gloves on. And his little belt, it does say win. So. I love that they took boxing and just made it super cute. And especially the like strawberry theme and then the strawberry walls. And then there's the little gym ropes. And I don't know if they're supposed to be bows maybe, but they kind of look like bones, which is a little scary. Cinemoral, what are you doing? All right, next up. Again, super curious if I'm gonna get doubles or if it's all gonna be a one-off, which will also be a good insight to these boxes because like when you're at the store, does that mean if you buy two, they won't be a double? One way to find out. <gasps> this is the like title piece. He's the one on the box and it's like he's a little Cupid. Got the arrow on his head and he's shooting a little plunger arrow. Very cute. I'm excited to put this one together because if I'm judging by the box, he's going to have like a little um, target that he's firing at and it's heart shaped. So I'm very excited to see that. Okay, that was box number three. Almost halfway through. Box number four. Da -da 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 -da, no double so far. <laughs> what? What is he up to? What, what kind of? Is he getting a massage? Is that what's happening? I don't know. He's like on a <laughs> stool. He's either flying or getting a massage. All will be revealed once we put together the kit, I think. Or is he just like in his little jammies? I don't, I don't know. Accessories appear to be a bowl. Let's put this one together and see, see what he's up to. He might be napping. So this one was the most confusing of the bunch because it almost looks like that top part is a light and maybe he's on the stool to change the light, but that is on the bottom. So I don't know, like maybe you would actually flip it and that's the top, but I don't think it would stay in. So what do you guys think? Box number five, let's go. This one sounds like it has a lot of parts. Custard is staring at me like, can I mess that stuff up? This is like super interesting. I've never had one where it's like the blind box is just, or the blind part of it is just like the tiny little toy and then there's all the accoutrements, all the accessories. It's kind of fun because then you get to like spend time and put it together after instead of just like one and done. Okay, uh, don't know what he's up to. What, what's he, what's he doing? What is, what is this? Is this like cheerleading? What is this? Cinemoral, what, what you uh, what you have to do there? I guess we'll have to put him together and see what the heck he's up to. Oh, he's playing basketball, I think. That does not look like any basketball I've ever seen. So let's put it together and see what's up. Guess the theme is that he's decompressing because he's playing sports. Uh, confirmed, he's just got bombs, which is so off brand for him. I think as far as i know cinema Roll's not you know in that looney tune sphere of like cartoon violence what do you guys think <laughs>
What is this all about? Number six. So I'm not seeing any doubles so far, and this is making me reconsider everything because if you buy a box and you get one of each, then like, why am I not just buying boxes of sets? Why am I wasting my time getting individuals, getting doubles, when I could just get them all? No custard, you can't play with these. This is, aw, oh, I spoke way too soon. We got another boxing boy. I literally cursed it. I was like, yo, there's no doubles in here. We should just be getting boxes, but nope. We got a dirty double. So this is, I think, the boxing one again. So I don't think I'm gonna bother putting this one together. Just gonna put him to the side. Well, now I'm nervous that I'm going to get more doubles. <sighs> Girl. Is this going to be like the ladybug toy all over again? Okay. Not a double. Not a double. So this is kind of the classic cinema roll. Well, one of the classic cinema roll poses where he's just... Look at his butt. Look at his fluffy little tail that is so cute so he's chilling his ears are down i want to see what the accessories are it's very cute oh he's definitely chilling on the beach making like a sand castle okay excited to put that one together i thought he was gonna be like doing a nap or something in this one Okay, one box left. I've got one double so far, which I'm disappointed about because I really thought we were gonna get like all eight. <sighs> okay, here we go. Oh, this is the last box. Number eight, please don't be another double. What? Okay, he was at the bottom this time. I was worried for a second. I'm like, is there just no toy in this one? I was at the bottom so i saw the accessories and i don't think i have this one okay we definitely don't have this one i think he's like a little school school boy i think with the hat and the backpack got some pink which is always good a little puzzle what is going on on this one a lot of candy oh okay the background on this one looks amazing it's like candy I have no idea what's going on in this one since to me it looks like he's dressed in a school uniform but then the theme is like candy candy cane so again help me out guys and the reveal of all of them together and their little modular homes look at how amazing the display works out for these and you can switch up which order you put them in Okay, I've opened all of them and I'm re-looking at the box to like see what the double situation is and I'm seeing that there are eight total, including the hidden one. So what I think happens in every box is that there's going to be the seven which are distinct, but then unless you're lucky enough to get the hidden one, it's going to be a double. So I don't know if that's how it applies to other boxes, but you still at least get all of the shown designs and then... If you're lucky, you get the hidden one. If not, it's gonna be a dirty double. But if you have a friend, you can give it to a friend. You can sell your double. Up to you. Thank you for watching and thank you to Motec for these amazing, cute toys. I love them. Motec toys are always great quality. That's why I knew these were gonna be good because I've purchased toys from them before. Betty's stuff is so nice. It's always like a nice matte finish. These ones are super cool because they have the display. Now that I've got these guys all built and in their respective little display boxes. My biggest challenge is just gonna be figuring out where to let them live permanently, but super handy that they're stackable. They've got their own little like unit. If you're interested in getting toys from them, I highly recommend. The quality is great. The designs are super cute. They've got a good mix of licensed brands and original things. So 
check them out. Okay, see you, bye.